Buffalo Bills have been asking for assistance in clearing snow out of Highmark Stadium ahead of the postponed wildcard game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. For $20 an hour, as well as some food breaks, many fans jumped to the task. Joining me now to talk about his shoveling experience is Eric Shields. He's at Highmark. He's at the stadium. Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. It's still snowing there. Oh, yeah, it's coming down heavy. And uh, I mean, thankfully, it's a little bit of light snow, so it's a little easier to shovel. But yeah, it's, no signs of slowing down. All right. So what has the experience been like helping shovel out the stadium? Uh, it's a great experience. I did it a, a long time ago when I was about 16, so I knew what I was walking into. But um, the amount of snow that was there and, you know, on top of the wind gust and um, we had a good amount of people show up. We had a good crew. And uh, as you could see, we had a we had a fun time. And, you know, they provided us with food and uh we're Buffalonians. We know how to stay warm. <laughs> yeah, it, it looked like a good time. Um, were there people coming out all night? Do you know? I heard that they showed up at 11 o'clock last night. Yep. So they uh, they were actually working in shifts. So I was for uh, uh, a 7 o'clock shift. So I worked from 7 to about 4 p.m. And then uh, there was another shift from 4 to midnight. And then I believe there was also an overnight shift. And you had to bring your own shovel? So it, that was an optional thing. They had plenty of shovels but you know they said preferred to bring your own shovel just in case they don't want to run out you know right okay eric what we're not uh saying about you yet is that you're not a bills fan <laughs> <laughs> no no i'm not no I, I i love my city though you know so any way i could help that would uh that would be awesome oh so if you don't mind me asking what nfl team do you support uh, I'm a Patriots fan. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. I should have noticed the hat. Um, oh, yeah. So you still wanted to come out to support your city and in a sense support the Bills? Absolutely. I mean, nothing, I, I, like I said, I love my city. You know, this is, you know, the best city in the world, in my opinion. We have great food and, you know, our slogan is uh, city of good neighbors. So, I mean, even though I'm not a diehard Bills fan, it, it would be incredible to see them make a Super Bowl run and bring it home. I think that takes a lot of courage to show your face on television in Buffalo and not say that you're a Bills fan. So while we have you, what has it been like? Because we know that there has been a travel ban in place across most of the Buffalo area for the weekend. What has the snowfall been like? Oh, I, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you got to definitely have some uh, some good driving skills, to say the least, if you do want to take the risk and drive in the driving band. Um I mean, even the snow plows are doing a great job, but I mean, even that, I mean, it's coming down just as fast as they take it away. Uh, I mean, even yesterday, driving back from the Highmark Stadium, it was, you know, blinding conditions and, you know, got to take it real slow. I think I was doing 10 miles an hour on the way home. <laughs> Do you feel like Buffalo and the stadium are really, truly ready to host this NFL game today? I don't think there's much that will stop the Buffalo Bills from playing this game. I mean, this city deserves a championship. Um, and I think the Bills are definitely ready to uh, put on a show. And, you know, coming from a Patriots fan, it, it hurts me to say that, but it's, it's the God's honest truth. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. You're, you're a loyal Buffalonian if you're out there shoveling when you're a Patriots fan. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Take care.